Hey everyone, Cubic King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to update your Kindle Fire software to the latest version 6.2.2. Before you file this video, let's go ahead and check to make sure to see what version we're on. So you can tap up there, hit more, take you to the settings, go to where it says device, and then system version right here. Should say your system version. As you can see, mine's on 6.2.1. So we're going to need to update it to 6.2.2, which is the latest, um, if you don't want to wait like me for the over-the-air update to be pushed to your device. So what you're going to first need to do is plug in your device into your PC. So plug it on in, and it should mount itself to the PC, like so. So it will pop up a screen on your PC. As you can see, it says disconnect at the bottom. Now click on the link in the description of the video. When you go to your PC, you'll see this screen pop up actually, autoplay screen. You can just close out of it for now. But anyways, click on the link in the description of the video. It'll take you to Amazon.com site. As you can see, Kindle software update version 6.2.2, download version. Scroll down, scroll down, keep scrolling down, and download link is right there. So click on that link right there and download it. It'll be a bin file. It'll look similar to this. Let's go ahead and go to the, the file itself. It'll be in your downloads folder or wherever you have it to download to. Mine's in my downloads folder, as you can see right there. Update Kindle 6.2.2 right there, bin file. You might not see the .bin extension depending on how you have your PC set up. But anyways, let's go ahead and what we need to do is just go ahead and right click on it and hit copy. So make a copy of it. Then go over to the left side, go to your removable disk, which is your Kindle Fire, obviously, and then click on it. Go to the Kindle Updates folder, double click on that, and then right click and hit paste. So then it should paste that update file. It might take a little while considering the file is decently large, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this transfer over. All right, so I just finished uh, transferring over. As you can see right up there in my removal disk Kindle updates folder is the update right there. So now go ahead and go over to your removal disk, right click, see if you can hit eject. Go ahead and hit eject. And then go back to your Kindle Fire itself and hit disconnect. And you can go ahead and unplug it. So go ahead and unplug it. And as you can see right away, it will highlight an option to update your Kindle. So now you can just press that button and it'll update it automatically. So go ahead and press update your Kindle. It says installing the Kindle update. It's gonna reboot your device a few times. So let's go ahead and see what it does. It should reboot it. I, I would assume it, it's gonna go into the stock recovery of the device and install it. Let's go ahead and see what it does. Okay, so it looks like it's just verifying in the update package, as you can see. But anyways, I'm going to let it do its thing. I will be back. I'll let you know how long it takes. Just be patient with it. It's going to reboot, reboot a few times. It'll install the update. So I will be back once it's done. Okay, so I think it's done rebooting because the Kindle Fire is gleaming. So I think it's loading on up. It did reboot, as I said, a few times. It did. It took a few minutes to install the update and reboot a bunch of times. So it, it is gonna take a little bit longer to boot up as usual. So be patient with this first boot up. And now my Kindle Fire has booted up and I will be on the latest software version 6.2.2. So I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it. And so it brings it brings it up. Obviously, nothing, no, no data is going to be wiped with this update. So just a heads up there. But I'm going to go ahead and press the settings bar, hit more, and scroll down, go to device, and let's go ahead and check and see what it says. So system version right there, current version 6.2.2. So there we have it. You can delete that file off of your device if you don't want it on there anymore. If it's taking up space, you can go ahead and delete it delete that file off your device, but you are now on the latest version 6.2.2. It did have some speed enhancements, it, as well as um, include a option to full screen on the browser, so we can go ahead and test that out. So things should be faster, as well as um, give a full screen browser mode, as well as help with manual email settings. So let's go ahead and try out. Okay, so right there, bottom right hand corner, you'll notice this little little icon right there, that would be how to go into full screen mode. So let's test it out. Let's press it. 
and there you go, full screen mode. The bars uh, go out if you press the arrow at the bottom, it just takes you right back in. So you don't have the status bar up at the top and you it removes these shortcuts down at the bottom and it's really easily to get back. You just press the arrow at the bottom as always. So there you go, now you got uh, full screen browsing on your Kindle Fire as well as things should be faster as I said. Um, and it, it'll incre increase the fluidity and performance of your Kindle Fire. And man, it'll s uh, improve support for manually email setup. So there you have it. That's how to update your Kindle Fire to 6.2.2. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment on the video. If you need any help, please feel free to ask. Leave a comment on the video. I'll be happy to help you guys out. Be sure to subscribe to me. I'll be making many, many more videos for the Kindle Fire, so definitely be sure to subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.